that will happen and that the balance of the world will be an imbalance. The balance of morals will be imbalanced. Even the balance of the environment and the climate will change. And this is happening now. Some of the scholars swear by Allah that all the minor signs have happened, every single one of them, and that the only thing left now is the coming of the Mahdi and the major signs to follow. Some other scholars don't go that far, but they do say if they haven't already finished, then a few of them are still left. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best about this. They could have all finished. But what comes to my mind is the Furat River. There is a river called the Euphrates River. Jordan. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us, you'll find this hadith in Sahih Muslim by the way, that the Euphrates River will be channeled into a different direction. So where there was water will come dry. There won't be water flowing through there. And as a result, a mountain of gold will be revealed. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned gold literally, Zahab. Jabal min Zahab. So lots of gold will be revealed. People of the world will fight each other over this. They'll go into battles over this, this gold. He said, don't come near the gold to his ummah, to us. Don't go near it. From every 100, one will live in this battle. And each person will say, because everyone will see this catastrophe. Every person will say, I'm going to be the one to live. I'm going to be the one to live and take my portion. Whether this sign is going to happen before the major signs start, or whether they are going to happen within the time of the major signs is the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because there are minor signs that happen before the major signs and there are minor signs that happen during the major signs while they're happening. And there are minor signs that continue after an example of a minor sign or if you want to count it as one of the major but it wasn't one of the majors the Prophet ﷺ counted in the 10 is the destruction of the Kaaba itself, the lifting of the Qur'an off the earth. People will not remember except the word, La ilaha illallah. They learnt it from father, from grandfather. So that's going to happen with the Euphrates River, the sign of the ending of the world. But before that happens, before the major signs occur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to lift this ummah from its absolute misery and feeble state that it is now, it's going to lift it back up to its victorious, honorable state, back to its nobleness that it once carried, this ummah. From once being united to our disunity today, it will return back to the unity. It's going to return back to its glory. It will become the leading nation of the world in every sense of the word as it once was before, and even better. This is based on one of the hadith, several hadiths. One of the hadiths is the following which is also in Muslim and Bukhari. Rasul Sallallahu said, بَدَأَ الْإِسْلَامُ غَرِيبًا وَسَيَعُودُ غَرِيبًا كَمَا بَدَأ فَطُوبَ لِلْغُرَبَاء Islam, when we say here Islam, we're talking about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It began very strange to the people. Strange. I don't know of this, much of this new ways before. وَسَيَعُودُ غَرِيبًا And it will come back in the future, strange again. The way it started in the beginning, just exactly the same way. Then he said, Fatuba lil ghuraba. Good news to those who are strangers in all this time. Strange, what's strange? Strange is different to weird. Strange doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means that it's unknown to the people's customs and traditions and knowledge that they've always had. It's strange, but interesting. I wonder if I was wrong all this time. And this strange religion is the right one. It's just strange, meaning unknown. For Islam began like that. We know the story in the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ. All you have to do is to read it and you'll know what I mean. And today, our turn, now in 